All right, hi, welcome to Red Pines, everyone. Today we're gonna do something that we've been waiting to do for a while. Um, we made, we previously made a really, really great chicken stock, and we actually had from the meat we purchased in my odds and ends bag have some beef bones. We have about four to five pounds of beef bones here, and as you can see, they have a good hunk of meat on them, which is really good for flavor. Um, right now. We uh, just took them out. We have a pot over here. Uh, we're gonna blanch these bones for about 20 minutes. And then we are going to roast them between 425, 450 at about 30 minutes per side. You wanna get a nice brown on these bones. Uh, it just brings out the flavor. Then we're gonna put it in our bigger pot here with a whole bunch of our vegetable scraps. If you remember, um, in a previous video, I told you we have these big bags from the freezer of any scraps that we have when we're cutting up onions, garlic, peppers, celery, whatever. It's all going to go into the pot with the beef bones. And you can really take some liberties here in terms of flavor. Um, and we will check in several times throughout the process and explain what we're doing. But we are really excited about this and hope you are too. All right, we're doing a quick check-in. So we decided that the other pot was too small. So we're actually simmering them. It's a high simmer uh, for 20 minutes. They're in there now, see? And when they are done, we'll go and move on to the roasting process. But just so you can see what we're doing right now, or kind of see through the, the steam, we are getting these nice and blanched. So we will check back in soon. All right, welcome back. Doing a little check-in. These are the beef bones getting nice and browned. We're on our second turn with these. We just did 30 minutes on one side. They're on their second 30 minutes at 425. And after that, we're gonna get them in this pot with all of our veggies. And we are gonna start the long haul of the 12 to 24 hour simmer and we will check back in when we're ready all right checking in again um here are our uh roasted bones i wanted to point out you know how i pointed out how meaty they were that's because we have some beef shanks here so what i'm going to do right now is take the majority of the meat off the bones leave some on and make an incredible dinner with these beef shanks tonight. Then the bones and whatever meat is left on them is going to go into this pot, which you can see we already have with water and all of our vegetables, um, some fresh and some from that frozen bag of scraps. And that will go for about 12 hours. And we will probably check in and we will probably also show you the canning process, but that will be tomorrow. All right guys, quick check-in. It's about 10.40 and we just pulled the broth out and strained it and now it's gonna sit and cool overnight. And we will get on with actually canning it tomorrow and we'll probably show you what it looks like in all the jars so we can tell you how much we got out of this and uh, give you a few tips on canning. So we will check back in tomorrow and see you in the morning. morning we're back working on the beef broth we had it uh we put it back in here it was in the fridge overnight we warmed it up 
and as you can see we're putting it into our quart jars into the pressure canner over here we have our other jars ready and waiting all cleaned up for the rest of the broth and we're not going to teach you how to pressure can we actually already have a video um, if you're subscribed to this channel or if you go on to our page you will see a video for pressure canning but if you're following our specific recipe or our steps i can tell you that you will pressure can the um the broth you will do quarts at 25 minutes uh for at, at 10 pounds and if you do pints you do 10 pounds as well but it only goes for 20 minutes so we are going to go ahead with this and i'm sure we'll check back in with the final product Whoa.